The point is, I was building up. It was a crescendo to get to Beth Let's in the say. end. Who stopped Let's him? Say. You all did. <laughs> And she knew I was an idiot, and she says, you have to listen to this guy. You're still an idiot. He's, he's in the middle of, he's in the middle of a guy named Fred, and he's going to something called Lesbian Battle Day. I immediately, I immediately changed the channel, heard him in the middle of yelling at his staff, yelling at his boss, and, and after all that, people were cursing, flipping out, I was freaking out, and then Howard goes, and when we come back, we're going to have Lesbian Battle Day. And I said, I don't know who this man is, but whoever he is, he revolutionized Revolutionized radio. He said, So, but, but 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 Sal's whole speech was about my career and right. how he how he listened to me as a kid and it was your, it was your, right. the history of you and him yeah it had nothing like to do with that I couldn't believe it and then change. lesbian dial a date so I went, right. and then my sister I, she called me up and says this guy is meant for you right. so I walk over I whisper in his ear mention Beth asshole yeah I know because you know, oh, you're an wow. asshole you had to even say it to him yeah I should mention Beth. but I was trying to get there but you guys no. kept interrupting my speech no, i was trying to get there Sal, you're an embarrassment <laughs> i mean really stop kissing my ass every i'm not tr- dude it was your engagement i was trying to be nice i was toasting you and your fiance you didn't, you know you weren't yes but i was but these assholes that kept heckling left and right i couldn't get to the big grand finale the ending you're sitting there talking about how in love you are with me and it has nothing to it has nothing to do with the fact that i'm engaged yeah if you were wearing the ring i would have understood the speech <laughs> <laughs> you know well, what, what's the grand Grand finale, tell us. Because in all fairness, well, you, the were, grand finale you were was, cut off. I there was said, no grand finale. Yes, there was. Uh, the point I was trying to make, I go, Howard, if you get one ounce of the pleasure from Beth that you've given the world, then you got the luckiest girl, and then you're the luckiest person in the world. <laughs> then you're the luckiest, luckiest, luckiest girl. Wow. Luckiest girl. But even, even your Freudian slips oh are goodness. so revealing. <laughs> She's the luckiest girl in the world. She I mean, is. But your part about Beth. It's all about him. No, but look, the point I'm trying to make is that this guy's broke his ass for 20 years, and it it took him 20 years to break his ass to entertain the world, yet (laughs) all he needs in his life to get that back is Beth Ostrowski. All right, get out of here. You don't see how that's all about him. You're (laughs) insane. No, you're insane, and that fat slob over there is insane because you guys are just putting a spin on all this. No, no, I am trying to say that Beth Ostrowski is a beautiful woman that has given you the pleasure that you've given millions of people. Yeah, but it's not... I'm putting you're in the mix. Howard, you're in the mix. But no, she shouldn't be in the mix. She should be out in the forefront. She's my gift for, she, for, for entertaining <laughs> you and millions of people. Right. Yeah, you're not getting it. You don't see it. It's a shitty speech. It's like you're a king and she's your president. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Here is here is your, the, the woman who should make you happy because you helped me and millions. Yeah, they should Here's your in gift. You right? Thank you. Now you're getting it. No, That's but did you get it? What so about her? It's an insult to her. She's Maybe she's a terrific girl and I'm the lucky one getting her. Right. Here's your gift for you making me and all my moral. shithead yeah. friends you don't, know how to, to you don't know how to make a fucking speech. And I know how to make a speech. You always, you always She's not just up. a present for Howard. 
Well, what's wrong with being a presence rather than being a pile of shit? I mean, oh she is a gifted person. Listen to me. It's a she's a gifted person that she has the ability to give you the pleasure that you deserve that you've given the world. <laughs> oh how about there? I don't girl. get how that's insulting. There are, I don't get listen, it. Shush, you guys are crazy. Shush, you're retarded. I think no matter the pleasure, what I she say, gives Howard and that pleasure is going to give you different oh, pleasures. Oh, your thought your process is I'm so muddled. I'm saying something nice about you and your beautiful you're, you're fiance, and you I turn around and you something. You're a horrible speech giver. You know. <laughs> Your thought process is so muddled, I can't even begin to tell you. That poor wife of yours, I'm oh. telling you. No You're wonder. on her side now. I am. <laughs> hey, by the way, Howard. Please. You're muddled. I'm not muddled. Listen to me. You're, You're befuddled. Are, listen to me. I, let, let me give you some basic arithmetic. Two plus two. Howard entertains world. Howard finds somebody to entertain him. End of story. The yeah. end. Finito. Oh, and you think that's a normal like that. thought? You think that's a good speech? That's a point. Well, that's well. No. It, it's in a other words, she is my prize for entertaining the world. Sure. I but, see. But you yeah. put the word prize in. I put her in as like, like a, a gift. Like, you a, said gift. A gift. She's yeah, a like gift. the Messiah. A like gift. Jesus came down. So it's not a prize. It's a gift. She's your bowling trophy. Yeah, it's right. like it's right. sort of like look, mm-hmm. Howard. Did she make you happy? Yes. yes. So I'm happy for you that she makes you happy the way you what made about, me. What about I can't her? even believe. Sounds. You know what? I Are can't even. I shouldn't even give you a fucking speech. Why, what I if, can't even believe I look up to you. you all you do is rip me to shreds. I'm trying to praise you. You treat me like I'm the king of the world. And now, sire, here is your presentation. You're sure. insane. So like, what about you know, the part where you're a sick, sick man, what, what, what and you need psychotherapy? What can you say about Beth? Sal, what can you say about Beth as a person? Excluding Howard. She uh, looks good next to Howard. See, she, uh, you're being a jerk. Next to Howard. Now, uh, what can I say about Beth? She's Stop a wonderful, sweet, nice, sincere girl. She's got great... Um, I saw her on The View. I think a little bit of you rubbed off on her with a delivery. I thought that was nice. And, oh, um, my God. I she's heard a sweet, him say this to her. Before so sweet. we went into dinner, he stopped Beth and started saying to her that she started to talk like Howard, and that was was good right. that he was complimenting her because now you're sounding like her. Her cadence and her delivery on the view was somewhat similar to yours. You know, it was enjoyable, oh it was refreshing, and it was entertaining. Me. Sal, me. if you had known Beth as a person without Howard in her life, do you think there's any compliment you could give her? Outstanding, <laughs> right. beautiful girl. All right. Well, 